class, let's continue on now. In the last video looked at costs, and we looked at variable cost, fixed costs, mixed cost, and then we took those mixed costs and we were able to divide them between variable and fixed, and we talked about the three different methods that you can use to do that. Now that we have our cost as variable and fixed, we're now going to look at the contribution margin. All right? Now, I'm just going to give you some information here. Let's look at a per unit basis. Let's look at the sales price. Let's say for our product, let's say that it sells for $8. Sells for $8, and our variable costs that we've now divided out are $6 per unit. So this is going to cost... This is going to include our materials, labor, variable, overhead. So then our contribution margin would then be $2. So basically, how I like to look at this is every time we sell a unit, okay, and let's say, let's say this is a really nice basketball, okay, every time we sell a basketball, uh, we have $2 left over to go towards our fixed costs. So every time we sell a basketball, $2 will go to pay off our fixed costs. And then once we've paid off all of our fixed costs, that's our break-even area, then every basketball is $2 profit. Okay? Now, we can do this in a percentage also. We do it as a percentage of uh, the sales price. So, uh, this would be 100% because you do 8 divided by 8. 6 divided by 8 would give us 75%. And then our contribution margin percentage would be 25%. And we're going to use these percentages in just a little bit. So here's our contribution margin percentage. Okay, I know I have CM up here, but this is the CM is right there. In fact, let me let me erase this. I should just say the percentage. Okay, a percentage of sales price. All right. Now let's assume that our fixed costs are ten thousand dollars. Well, our break-even in units break-even in units equals your fixed costs divided by your contribution margin per unit. Okay? So break-even is our fixed cost divided by our contribution margin per unit. So our fixed cost, like I just said, is ten thousand. Our contribution margin per unit is 2, so this is 5,000 units. We will break even when we sell 5,000 basketballs, okay? Because 5,000 units times the $2 contribution margin gets us the 10,000 fixed costs, okay? So there's the formula to, to calculate your break even in units. To calculate your break even in sales dollars, you take your fixed cost divided by your contribution margin percentage. Our fixed cost, once again, is 10,000 divided by our contribution margin percentage, which is 0.25, which gets us 40,000. Okay, at $40,000 of sales, that's what we'll break even. Okay? And you could figure that out also by just taking your 5,000 units times your sales price of 8,000. If you break even at 5,000, 5,000 times $8 would be $40,000. So there's two ways to do it. You can do it based off of your units, or you can plug it into this formula to get your break even in sales dollars. Okay? Now, I'm going to erase this one, the bottom one. Now, we have something called margin of safety. Margin of safety is your expected sales minus your break-even sales, which was the 40,000, divided by your expected sales. So our expected sales, let's say, is 60,000. So I'm just, I'm just making that number up myself. 60,000 is my expected sales. My break-even sales was 40,000. Remember the 5,000 times the 8? 40,000 
divided by our expected sales of 60,000. And this gets us 33.3%. Okay? So our margin of safety, our sales can decrease by 33.3% and we'll still break even. Okay? If sales decrease by 33.3%, we would still break even. So that's our margin of safety because we expect sales to be uh, 60,000, but they break even at 40,000. So if sales decrease by that amount, we'd still break even. All right. Now, <clears throat> so we've looked at contribution margins. We've looked at break even in units, break even in sales dollars, the margin of safety. Now let's take a look at target profit. Target profit is just saying, what profit do we want to target? What, what would we like to see our profit out? Okay? Our fixed costs were $10,000. let us assume that we also want to have $10,000 in profit. Okay? Well, to calculate target profit, you take the fixed costs plus whatever your target profit is. divided by your contribution margin percentage. Okay? Or you could do contribution margin per unit, whichever one you want to do. In fact, let's do a contribution margin per unit. Okay? So, our fixed cost, once again, were 10000 And then I said that I wanted our target profit also of 10000 so I want to, I don't want to just break even. I want an additional profit of ten thousand. So whatever your target profit is, you plug that in, divided by your contribution margin per unit, which is two. So that gets us ten thousand units. So at ten thousand units, we will have a profit of ten thousand dollars. Okay, because two dollars times the ten thousand units is twenty thousand. 10,000 of that is going to be fixed. The other 10,000 would be profit. You can do the same thing, this target profit in sales dollars. So it's taking the fixed cost plus your target profit divided by your contribution margin percentage, which gets you your the fixed cost plus uh, target profit. That totals 20,000. It's this right here. Divided by our percentage of 0.25, which is the 25%, which gets us 80,000 dollars for our uh, target profit and sales dollars. Okay, and that's just the 10,000 units, 10,000 units that we'd be selling. That's our target profit in units times the eight dollars, which is 80,000. So there's two ways to solve for that. All right. Okay, guys, we've gone over quite a bit in this, this little lecture. Break even in units, break even in sales dollars, uh, the margin of safety, and target profit. All right?